look at this my uh, scrap cardstock bin is overflowing it is driving me absolutely nuts I can't find anything I have way too much I also don't like throwing stuff away because it's wasteful so today I'm going to attempt to make as many cards as possible using as much of this as possible I'm gonna go through it first and separate piles by colors and some paper sizes I may keep try to keep more of the larger paper sizes but I have some ideas to create some really fast cards hopefully hopefully this works okay I've finished that step you can see my bin is empty here and I'll show you what I've done with my pile so this little tiny pile is um, specialty papers. This is some vellum, some silver stuff, um, a lot of extra watercolor papers that um, has stuff on one side so I can practice whatever on the other side. These won't be used in projects necessarily. So then I've separated my colors into seven piles. So I have my reds and even anything with prints, whatever, it, this could have gone in the red pile or the blue pile but I just threw it in the red. I didn't put a lot of thought in it. This one I put in the red pile. Um, I didn't want to put it in the black, white, gray pile because I wanted those to be just black and white and grays. This one had red in it. So um, then we have oranges. It was kind of hard to distinguish some of the oranges between orange and pink, like this one, or the orange and yellows, like this one. So I didn't put a lot of thought I was very general with everything. The yellow pile, I did cream color, browns, anything of that sort in that family, including um, including prints. So if I had a print here, like this one, you know, whatever color I saw first, I, that's the pile I threw it in. So there's yellow. And then we have the greens, blues, purples, some of them I had a hard time, you know, this one could go in any pile, really, um, but it didn't matter. This pile over here is all chipboard, uh, pieces of chipboard, and then my black and white gray pile is up there. So now the next step is going to be pulling out some of the colors that I want to work with and showing you what I want to do with them. Um, for example, I'm not going to pull out any Christmas stuff because I'm not doing Christmas cards or anything like that. So I got to try to c get colors that go together uh, because we're going to just simply put them through a paper shredder and um, strip them into strips and go from there. So I'll be back momentarily. Okay, I picked out a, a few sets um, of different colors, and I have here this old paper shredder that has no bottom, and it doesn't even really work very good. I picked it up at a yard sale, and when I brought it home, found out it didn't work very good, but it works good enough for a project like this. So, we are going to shred this paper. into strips like this. See, this is why it doesn't work because it's missing in a couple spots. Uh-oh. Chop this one off. <clears throat> there we go. And we'll use, see what we can use and what we can't. Okay, 
Okay, so I have a card base here. And we are going to glue our strips. You can use a dry glue or a wet adhesive. I use, mostly use a wet adhesive because it's cheaper. Um, and it might be slightly faster, although it doesn't dry faster. Now, there's going to be an issue with some of these strips. They're not going to be long enough because I had such small pieces of paper. So, we can do that. <coughs> we can fix that by adjusting our angles a little bit. But what we're going to do, so I think I'll try, I'll try to make it work like that. Um, I'm not going to lay it out first. I'm just going to go for it. So what I'm going to do is see if I can get my glue to work. Make sure you don't glue to the back side of your card stock. Okay, so now we're going to glue our um, pieces on. It doesn't, I don't think it matters where you start um, as long as you stay lined up. And just butt it up there as tight as you can get it and hold it so that there's no white space. I can just barely see some white space from where the cutter um, didn't cut evenly from the shredding machine, uh, the paper shredder. But you just try to get this. And all of these aren't going to show. And I'll, I'll show you. You'll see why when we get there. Let's see if we can get this one. Oh, it's just barely long enough. Okay, good. There's other things you could do. You could put um, double-sided uh, tape, like the big piece of double-sided tape on here, <clears throat> and just cover your whole sheet. But I'm fine with this um, wet glue. And sometimes I like to take my brayer and just push it down. Okay. So what other colors do we have here? We have this color. Well, it's not long enough. And I'll have to go on the ends. Look at all this these pieces though. This could probably make ugh. I'm still going to have tons of paper left over. This could, alone can probably make a bunch of cards. do them in squares, but the reason that I, um, which I might try some squares later, but I think I have tried them in the past and I have a very difficult time getting my squares really squared, even with the cutter. So that's why I like the, the, paper, the paper shredder because it gets everything just pretty even. It's also nice because it has different texture to it. The 
this one going to fit yet? Nope. going in a random order, nothing particular. And if, it, if you miss a spot in some shows, then it's okay, because um, it probably, with what we're going to do, it probably won't show. And if it does, that's great, because you know what? It's a homemade card, and that's the way homemade cards are supposed to be. My husband always says, if it's not perfect, it's better. Will this fit anywhere yet? Nope. We're getting there. This one might. Hey, yay, we got one. The key to this design that is going to pull it together is the pattern paper. So while it's important to have a variety, you definitely want to have enough pattern paper there. And it's also important to get your edges glued. It's easier to glue it on the car the card base. Do that. You can always wipe off any excess glue. Okay, now we're going to let this I'm 
dry so there's no chance of us messing it up and then I'll show you what's next okay now I'm doing the next one I've already cut a bunch of pieces and to get, I should have told you before but to get your piece really straight glue it down but butt it up against a straight edge like this ruler and then you can get it straight I move all my pieces over here. There we go. So we can see them. Find some length that works. If you don't have any pieces that are long enough, you can piece them together. You just have to be careful where you do that because of our um, card that we're going to put on top, we're going to place on top. The most important areas that you want to look good, I think, are going to be the edges, like so, and uh, wherever your window is going to be, we're going to make a window. So I think I'm going to piece um, some together here. I don't know where our window is going to be, so we are hopefully, we're going to do this, and hopefully it doesn't um, obstruct our window. And if it, maybe you can't even see it, I don't know. Maybe we won't be able to see it. Get these pieces out of here that I can't use. I really need to get a new shredder. I like to get some cards, some cardstock in here with some texture too. That's nice.
we won't want to put our window here because I've got four pieces right in that area so maybe we'll put our window over here Okay, now we need to let this one dry. And make sure you open your card in case any glue got on there. And you might want to protect the back of your card so it doesn't get, or you could glue all this on a separate sheet of paper. I'm trying to save paper, so I didn't do that. Okay, now I'm going to move all of this aside and I'm going to get my. Um, my big cutter out because it makes more precise cut and that's my Viscars rotary cutter and what we're gonna do is 
we are going to cut all the Let's see. Hmm. Let's do a little bit more. So let's cut it at five. Uh oh, it's crooked. I moved. That's because my surface is not. Okay. Five by four and three quarters. Let's try that one. Okay. And we have some strips, but they're probably not even. Okay, so now I'm going to um, cut an oval or something to let that show through. And I'm gonna do that with my uh, big kick. Okay, so this is where I'm at so far. I have cut off the um, excess from the second card background. This is the background. I think it's just stunning. And then I cut this window with my Sizzix um, framelit die. And I stamp this, then sings my soul with some music down here. And I was originally putting it on this one, but I felt it looked better on this one. So I'll probably attach this with some dimensional tape, just like that. I think that's really pretty. And it's, I think it's just gorgeous. And this one, I'm not sure. I'm gonna use this, and I'm probably gonna do it in this orientation. And then I'll put something in the middle. Probably I'll cut maybe a smaller piece and put maybe um, one of these stamps. Maybe God is for you or this cross. Something will something small that will fit in there. So anyhow, that is my idea for um, using up scraps. As you can see. I made two cards and barely used up anything, and I still have all of this stuff that's cut. So you could really do a lot, and it was not time consuming. If you get on a roll and do it in bulk, then you could um, probably do, um, do a lot in a little amount of time. So anyhow, thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, so I have been busy, busy, busy. Look at all this. Um, I've made some more, and... <clears throat> I have just really been using scraps and it looks like I'm using a lot of scraps and honestly I'm not using a lot of scraps and so I think I'm going to take some layering stamps and some different things and put over these um, here's my others that I had shown you before I just think they're stunning now these ones I actually ran through my um, big kick to press them down. I decided I don't like them pressed down. I decided I like them raised a little bit. It gives it a little bit of texture. I just used, like you see, I ran out of some colors. So I just threw others in there. And you, I just think they look great. So I'm gonna continue with these and do some things with them just to use up some scraps and then I might try to go in different directions. Huh, I don't know. Sounds kind of scary. Stay tuned.